Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So I get a lot of questions from people asking me how they should set up their home YouTube studio, what gear they should buy, what camera settings they should use, and if an iPhone is good enough to create quality video content. So I'm here to answer all of those questions, giving you a behind the scene on how to build your own YouTube studio so that in the end of this video, you will be able to apply those techniques for yourself. With me, I have George, uh, which you might know from another video. I'm gonna help him set up his YouTube studio so that he can start produce content on his channel. What do you think, George? Let's do it. All right. If you don't know who George is, he's a photographer. I don't have to say that because you're introducing yourself anyways. All right, I think that's enough. <laughs> So for this video, we will be using a couple of basic inexpensive gear also to show you that with proper gear and the right filming techniques, you can create a quality video. So the camera we will be using is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, since most of you carry a smartphone with you. For the tripod, we will be using an Amazon basic tripod that costs around 30 bucks. Also, you will want to get a soft box. This one costs around 30 bucks and a good microphone. I chose the video mic Mi L that is around 89 bucks that you can just plug straight into your iPhone. So if you already have a smartphone, you will need to invest in around 150 bucks to get started and film good quality video. All the gear mentioned will be in the video description below. So the first step would be composition. When I get into a room, I think about where I should place the camera. We have a lot of window light coming in here and usually I don't use the window light as a key light uh, because of the exposure that constantly changes. I use the softbox as a key light and the window light maybe as a fill or backlight. All right, so since George will be sitting here and he will mostly work with the computer, uh, I will place the tripod over here also so that we can see um, his lenses and cameras. So the desk looks pretty clean and the background we actually cleaned up. So it was a little bit messy at first. So we moved away all the things that weren't relevant and I placed these lenses on top of the shelf as well as the camera uh, because since George is a photographer and should represent his character. So I positioned the camera over here because I want to create depth. Now with a smartphone, it's kind of hard to get the background out of focus because of their fixed aperture. But if you have a DSLR or mirrorless camera with a low aperture lens, then you can create that shallow depth of field. But anyway, it will still create some depth and you usually don't want to place yourself close to the wall. Because I'm using the rear camera, George actually can't see himself. So what you wanna do is either use the front facing camera or you could download an app called Filmic Remote where you can actually monitor yourself wirelessly. So I'm gonna show you how that looks like. So now the tablet is connected to the iPhone um, through Filmic Remote and George can now actually see himself recording and also frame himself. So I'm using the rule of thirds and what I want to do is place the subject on one of those intersection points. And I decided to place him on the upper left point since he's looking at the screen. I also want to avoid a dead space in between his head and the top and that looks already really good. So the app I'm using is Filmic Pro. It's an advanced video app that will cost you 15 bucks. There's also an in-app purchase that you can get, which will allow you to unlock a picture profile like a flat and log that will increase the dynamic range which is also great for color grading your video afterwards. If you want, you can also use your native camera. That works well too. I just like having more control over my camera. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is lighting. So there's a big window over here, but we're not gonna use this as our key light. We're actually gonna use this softbox over here as a key light and I'm gonna place this softbox about 45 degree away from the camera and above him. So 
so that we have like this natural light coming from above. And the reason why you want to use a soft box is because um, it produces this soft light, not giving you those harsh shadows. So we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna see how it looks. And another thing you should avoid are the lights in the room. You wanna make sure that you turn your room light off because you don't wanna mix different temperatures. So as for the focus, I wanna set it on him and lock it. So we're gonna set our resolution to 4K, which gives us the highest quality possible. The encoding rate will be filming extreme because um, it captures more information and therefore has more quality. Frame rate, I'm gonna set to 25 frames per second. And as for the ISO, I'm gonna set this as low as possible. I'm gonna lock it. And then I'm gonna set the shutter speed, double our frame rate, which is one over 50, okay? So the next thing you want to do is change your white balance. And you don't wanna set it to auto, you wanna lock it because otherwise you will get these color shifts all the time. You can use the presets below uh, and I'm gonna use the sun preset. I'm also gonna record in log V2. Like I said before, log allows me to uh, color grade my footage afterwards. Audio is half the viewing experience, so you wanna make sure you invest in good audio. And this is the Rode VideoMic Mi L that you can just plug into your phone. And you wanna keep your audio between minus six and minus 12 decibel, otherwise the audio will peak and distort. With Filmic Pro, you have your audio levels and you can see if the audio is peaking. So the last step is presenting. You wanna be expressive in front of the camera. You also want to have your eyes on the camera and not somewhere else because you want to connect with the audience. And also try working with bullet points or with a script so that your content is more structured. And especially for those that you know struggle uh, speaking in front of the camera, I highly recommend you get some kind of teleprompter that you can just read off. We're gonna do our first test. George is gonna introduce himself in the video and let's see how that will look like. Hey guys, my name is George. I'm a photographer living in Zurich. I'm very excited to tell you that I'm starting my YouTube channel, which will be all about photography. I've been very active on Instagram. I just reached 4,000 followers, which I'm very happy. So thank you very much. I hope to see you guys on my channel. I can't wait to start this new journey. All right, guys, so that was it. I think George did a great job for his first video. Um, I think that deserves an applause. Um, I mean, it's his first time talking to a camera, but you know, practice makes perfect. You just have to keep doing it. And within time, you will get better. I too make mistakes all the time and everybody just has to go through it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do that and leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram at Bennett Grazer and follow George on Instagram at George Paolo Foto if you wanna check him out as well. Until then, I wish you a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.